too hard, don't stand too close, you gon' fuck around and drown Off this way, doing all these shows, I've been on the road, I don't care where I go, as long as I get paid What is up my lovers? Anyhow, in um, today's video, it's pretty much gonna be talking about 2019 What is in store, what you guys look forward to, what am I planning with my life all that good stuff as 2018 comes to an end i'm just gonna go back and reflect you know 2018 was pretty much all about getting my mental and my financials together because you know you can't build if you're not together mentally and of course money pretty much is what making the world go round. so clearly you need to make sure your financials are all together in order to get a lot of things done oh by the way if you guys wondering what is this in my video it's like a little phone stand it holds your phone so you can like watch movies and all that stuff so yeah my mom got it for me <laughs> but yeah just so you I won't be distracted too much by that that's pretty much what that is anyhow back to the video um so yeah 2018 was just all about you know growing as a person and growing my bank account and now as 2019 is here it's all about living fearlessly each year I try to come up with a motto I forgot my motto motto why I say it so hard my motto for 2018 I just knew the focus was to focus on growing and it's I think it was almost that I forgot it's on my Twitter but anyhow um this year my motto is live fearlessly I want to do everything that I've always wanted to do whether it was something I was physically like actually scared of or something that was you know I doubted myself and so one of those things is music um I've always loved music I always loved singing and I doubted myself and I've scared myself into just staying away from it and but now I want to come back and I want to that's like one of those main things I want to focus on this year as well as other things but like my top three music is up there in that top three category so yeah i want to release music this year so look forward to that of course i'm always going to be trying to lose weight if i get to my weight goal i'm still doing that and i'm still going to upload a fitness update video i haven't gotten to it plus i'm scared to step on the scale i can't tell you guys i lost inches so that's good i lost inches in my waist but my bust area and my hips are still the same and to be honest with you, I think my hips got bigger. I'm not sure. I have to go back to my old video. I wrote it down, but I kind of lost the paper where I wrote it down on. So yeah, I gotta go back to my old video to see. But I did. I know I lost inches in my waist for sure. Um, which is good, you know. That's the area I wanted to move it in anyway. But um, I have my notes here just so I can make sure I stick on my topics. So yeah. What's in store as far as my YouTube channel is pretty much I want to be more myself. I felt like that's why I took a break kind of in a way because I kind of felt like I'm not going to say I wasn't being anyone. I feel like I was being too Disney channel if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> like I'm not going to say everything. I want to cater to all ages. I want to cater to younger kids. I want to cater to um, my age the mid age and older people so you know being being someone who's not only young a mom an african american um what else a female you know i wanted to be able to because I, I have a very wide audience that i can always you know i have a family so i could cater to a lot of people i just want to be able to cater to you guys in a more real way i don't want it to be like too appropriate but i also don't want it to be too childish you know if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making sense if y'all catching what i'm throwing <laughs> but yeah that's kind of why i took a break because i wanted to know where i'm gonna go and also i'm vegan i'm not vegan oh my gosh i'm pushing it i want to try to be vegan let me hold my horse hold my horse guys i'm a vegetarian <laughs> there you go um so it's like i have a lot of people in the audience i can cater to I just want to be able to cater to it in a more natural way where it's like all in tune together versus me trying to, I guess, 
be everywhere because you know how people make multiple channels and it's just like why are you making multiple channels because they want to cater to their gamers and they want to cater to their beauty girls and they want to do all these channels but i understand why they're doing it but i just feel like to me the only two channels that i want to have is this channel and my my music channel that's the only two channels i would like to run other than that anything after that i feel like that is kind of just out of my thing i even debated just probably dropping my music on this channel versus doing a whole separate channel but then i was just like you know what i have that channel that was actually one of my first youtube channels my music channel so i just naturally just kept it i'm just like i would just keep it you know i'm going to do covers and original music on that channel so y'all stay tuned on that i'll be putting more information out on that a little later but yeah, for this YouTube channel, I'm still tweaking it, but for the most part, I feel like I know where I want to go and I know how I want my videos to go and I know how I want to schedule my recordings and uploading and all that good stuff. So hopefully it all works out. Um, if not, just go back to the drawing board. <laughs> but hopefully, so far how I planned it out, it looked like it's going to come out correct. Um, we talked about my fitness, but just to go back to it one more time, I still have a goal to reach. I'm still trying to reach it. I haven't bought any clothes. I haven't done anything because of the fact that I don't want to do that until I get to where I need to be. So we're still standing strong. We're still going to be doing it, guys. Tomorrow I'm weighing myself. I don't know if a video is going to come out of that, but I'm tomorrow I'm weighing myself. Tomorrow's the first. Well, if you're watching it, today's the first. So we're going to get through this guys um some goals i want to accomplish besides fitness is and music <laughs> is i'm still trying to finish school guys i know it's kind of like okay you said that last time you made a video but you know seriously in february i need to finish it because not only do i want to feel like i waste money i do have interest in nails don't get me wrong i do have interest in it i would love to do nails as a side hustle but it's just I feel like I'm ready but I'm not ready to take a test because I want to master acrylic guys I want to master acrylic before I leave I just need to get my scheduling correct where I can actually you know be able to practice it more so yeah but I do want to finish by February no later than February. If I don't finish in February, I am going to stop everything I'm doing and just put my focus there, which I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to stop everything what I'm doing and put my focus there. I have to finish school. <laughs> um, another thing is I want to do more adventurous stuff. I want to travel this year. My two dream places I want to go to right now is Hawaii and Miami. That's what I'm trying to look good for, y'all. So I have double motivation. <laughs> um, what else? It's a lot of stuff. You guys just stay tuned, you know, because I'm going to try to vlog more as well. That's something I originally wanted this channel to be, a vlogging channel. But seeing I don't really do much, <laughs> hopefully next year I start going out more. That's the goal too. I'm sorry if I keep scratching here. Something's right here is just tickling my nose. And I don't know what it is. I'm not digging in it. It's just <laughs> right here on the tip. But um, I do want to go out more. I had this whole entire year being to myself indoors or hanging with my friends for like a, a once a month or every six months it felt like so i want to actually get out more and get dolled up and get cute that's another goal i want to start getting dolled up and cute and all that stuff because before i had my daughter i used to be like eyeliner every day mascara hair always done eyebrows done and now it's just like I slack off because I don't go anywhere and it's just like or I'm not gonna say I don't go anywhere I choose not to go anywhere so that's why everything needs to change it's about to be a full 360 guys full circle um um yeah I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it as far as what goes I mean I have other things I want to accomplish but it's going to be better to show you guys versus just to say it because I actually want to do it you know I want to read more I want to travel I want to finish school I want to do this I want to do that but 
we're gonna get it done together lovies we are in this together whatever you're trying to accomplish I'm here for you just like you're gonna be here for me another thing is I don't want to look at this as a resolution because I feel like new year resolutions are only for like the first three months if that then people just go back into their old ways anyway so I want to look at this as a complete short-term goal long-term goals that I'm trying to accomplish in life and I'm about to say for the most part I feel like everything on my list is a short-term goal that can actually happen this year so I want to do it and I want to complete it and we're going to do this if you have a short-term goal even if you have a resolution I'm still support I just don't like to call it resolution because I feel like I never stick to it <laughs> so it's just a bucket list because I already know if I don't complete it it's going to roll over to the next year so and that's why I don't call it a resolution because each year I'm gonna end up trying to do it. So, um, another thing I want to do is still continue working on myself, you know, just because it was last year focus, no matter what, I'm still gonna be working on myself in my financials this year. So, you know, I want to work on my friendships, relationships. You know well relationship can be everyone and all that good stuff i just want to start anew like i feel good about 2019 i really feel like you know every year you probably say oh this is my year but i really feel like 2019 is my year i feel like 2018 was my practice month my practice month my practice year november december were my practice months and now january 1st is about to be the real deal like my test and practicing was all for this year so yeah you know I, 2016 2017 were horrible years 2018 was actually a pretty decent year i'm not saying everyone say 2018 has been horrible it's the worst year 2016 was a popping year and i'm just like no it was reversed for me 2016 was horrible 2017 horrible 2018 pretty good i'm not gonna say it was the overall but coming from 2016 2017 year 2018 was amazing so, I'm pretty, pretty sure 2019 is just going to be way, way better. So, that is what I'm looking forward to. I hope all of you come along with me on these journeys. I hope all of you grow with me. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's just like a rambling video of me talking fast. But I just I didn't want the video to be too long me talking about nonsense. It felt like I'm introducing myself all over again. But yeah, that is all for this video. Um, stay tuned, you know, for the rest of this year. Like I said, I'm I'm going to try to stick to it 100 percent My plan is to be very consistent this year. So make sure you subscribe, thumbs up the video. You know, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any New Year resolutions or goals that you want to complete this year. Let us just know. If you're interested in, you know, staring up with my life, you can follow me on all my social medias, which will be, you know, on the screen here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Love you all. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, love make the world go round. Bye, my lovies.